Hey guys, it's Dan here with another, well, not really a trade paperback, a hardcover collection of Deadpool stories. This one is Deadpool's World's Greatest Volume 2. Um, I'm not exactly sure what they call these hardcover editions. I just know that they can fit at least three normal size trade paperbacks into one hardcover edition. And um, this one collects issues of Deadpool 2015 numbers 8 through 13 and Deadpool Last Days of Magic number 1. This um, is written by Jerry Duggan and Charles Soule and a couple of other people who I have never heard of. Um, the reason, this is a reread for me. Um, I read this a long time ago, probably back in 2015 or 2016, and I read it in smaller trades. Everything but the, um, the final story, which was Deadpool Last Days of Magic. I did not read that until reading this. But the reason why I wanted to share this with you guys was for the simple fact, like, after I got done reading this, and I've been reading, like, more recent, like, Deadpool stuff, and I was like, oh, man, I'm like, lately I've been feeling like Deadpool's really 50-50, like, it's either going to be bad or it's going to be good. And this, what, this run, this series run of Deadpool, was when Deadpool was really good. This was a very enjoyable series for me. And I was like, you know what? I should probably let you, the subscribers, know that. Because if you're not aware of this specific run, I want to share it with you guys. So you can get a little glimpse into how good this series actually is. Um, one of the great things that I remembered about this series was the cameos. Um, this specific volume has cameos from Sabretooth, Magneto, um, Iron Fist, Luke Cage, Daredevil, um, a number, Doctor Strange, just a number of different people. And it wasn't just the cameos that made this series so good. It was the stories themselves. And for instance, like the last story is a tie-in with the Doctor Strange's, uh, you know, Last Days of Magic, where the Emperor Curl, Emperor Curl, I can't even say it, Emperor Cool came to destroy all magic on Earth. And yeah, there was a Deadpool story for that that was not included in that, but it like ties into that story. So it was kind of fun to see that. Um, also, for those of you not aware, Deadpool has a daughter. And she's a mutant, and she's Deadpool 2099, which was kind of cool to see her. And they show a story about that. So yeah, I mean, this was, it's, it's a grab bag variety of different things, but yet the story stays consistent. Um, it's really well written. I thought the artwork was great. Honestly, I missed this run, because like some of the newer DP stuff just is not as good. But this, this was at a time when Deadpool was at, I'd say, there's a reason why it's called Great World's Greatest, because this was a really good series at the time. And I wanted to share it with you guys. If you're not sure who this is, that's Sabretooth's head, because there's a whole like story behind that. And I'm not going to spoil it for you, but it, it's worth reading. I, of course, as always, I will have a link down below if you'd like to pick up a copy of this for yourself. That link definitely works for the U.S. Um, supposedly, Amazon tells me it works for U.K. and Canada, but no one has given me feedback to say, hey, it just doesn't work for us. For anyone who cannot use the Amazon link, I have a book depository link also that offers free worldwide shipping, and they offer great discounts, too. Go ahead, you can purchase this or any other DP book, any book you want through that link. I appreciate all of y'all that have bought stuff through the links. It helps out my channel. I got the views. I just don't have the subscribers to get the AdSense back. And I'm slowly building my way back up there. I'm currently at 509 subscribers. But, you know, it's going to be a long, slow crawl to get to 1,000. I just have a feeling 
But that's all I got for you guys. Um, if you came here looking for comic book graphic novel reviews, go ahead, hit that subscriber button. While you're there, hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. I'm going to be uploading a little bit more than just on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I'm going to try to do other videos during the week. But yeah, it is what it is. That's all I got. Till next time, I'll be geeking out.